The following educational video is intended for building owners and brokers to better understand the rate structure for offers for government leased space and does not address all elements of a lease procurement. For more comprehensive information, refer to GSA's Leasing Desk Guide, the Request for Lease Proposals Package, and lease documents for the project you are interested in pursuing. Security countermeasures are priced as shell items, or building-specific amortized capital. The building-specific amortized capital, or BSAC charge, is for specific security items that are part of or attached to a building that cannot be easily removed. Examples of these items include, but are not limited to, bollards or vehicular barriers, security gates, blast-resistant window film, and guard booths. These specific physical security measures are a separate capital investment to be amortized over a period of time, and thus are broken out separately from other rent components. The amortized BSAC over a period of time, including interest, equals the BSAC rent. Similar to tenant improvements, BSAC dollars are provided upfront by the lesser. These costs are then amortized into the rent and paid over a period of time using an interest rate defined by the offerer. Remember, your interest rate plays a significant role in your present value analysis and thus your ability to submit a competitive offer. The amount of BSAC required is tied to an agency's Facility Security Level, or FSL. Each requirement is assigned an FSL between 1 and 4 based on a number of factors including anticipated use of space and threat level for that agency. The FSL attachment to the RLP package will prescribe exactly what security measures or equipment will be included and whether it is to be priced as shell or BSAC. Therefore, it is extremely important to review the FSL attachment. The FSL-1 lease attachment contains the Interagency Security Committee's prescribed base countermeasure requirements which are priced in the shell rent. No countermeasure requirements are considered BSAC. Additional shell items and BSAC requirements are added as the FSL increases. For FSL levels 2, 3, and 4, you will be provided with a placeholder estimate amount for the purpose of evaluation of offers but the final list of security measures will be determined during the design phase. If the final amount of BSAC is less than the placeholder, then the final rent amount will be adjusted accordingly. For more information on specific requirements, reach out to your regional GSA representatives. To explore other rate components, check out the other videos in this series.